Welcome to Fort Clench Beach. We're here today to look for some chardine. So join us and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Starting off on this walkway over here. Gonna get the big reveal to the beach. And it's kind of a chilly day. I think it's like 69 degrees. So I don't think we're actually going to go swimming, but maybe just get our feet in the water it is still chilly out right now it is still february after all and hopefully we will find some shark teeth bathrooms turtles shells We made it to the beach, so sorry if it's windy uh, and the noise is kind of bad. So hopefully you can still hear a little bit. But the very first thing I see is these hundreds, if not thousands, of seagulls. Like, they're all there. Look at all this. Can you hear them? That is crazy. <laughs> what are they doing? But like I said, it is chilly out today. So it's really not going to be super crowded. And just so you know, as you're walking along the sand, you will find sea, sea shells. So I found this one. I mean, they're good size, very soft sand, but there are shells, not like completely covered with shells and broken shells, but like you are going to find seashells at this beach. So you can wear Crocs or some kind of flip-flops to protect your feet or just go barefoot. It's not too awful bad, but you'll be able to find some really cool shells as you're walking along. Now I'm not even close to the water though. So as you can see, there's like a little, little tiny inlet of water that you can wade in. And then over there, you see my family. Oh my goodness, the birds just took off. <laughs> Crazy. They're just everywhere. But there's just a little tiny inlet over here, and then another sand dune, and then the ocean. So, there you go. I'm gonna go put my stuff down. <laughs> okay, so we are here, and it is cold. And I'm about to put my feet in this little inlet water, so it might be warmer than the other, the ocean. Let's see. Nope, it's freezing. <sighs> Yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty cold ice water. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah. Cold water. Seashell right here. All right. Another one. Okay. Went through that. Cold. But to the ocean, people have their poles set up to go fishing. Okay. All right, so you come to the beach. I'm at least gonna dip my toes in. Even though I already know it's gonna be absolutely freezing, I'm gonna do it and then probably run. <laughs> All right, here we go. The ocean. Oh my God. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cold. Cold but beautiful day. Um, windy. But, whew. All right. I don't know if we're actually gonna do a whole lot of shark tooth hunting today here at the beach. Um, like I said, this is Fort Clench. 
Fort Clinch Beach here. Um, this it is a cold day. There's no one here, but um, there is an actual fort too. So I think we're gonna go check that one out later. So we might just, just I don't know, just walk around the beach for a little bit. Probably not stay too awfully long since it is chilly, and go check out the fort. So over here, the sand is much more smooth. There's not very many seashells over here. And then you could probably see the divider line up there where all the seashells are up in that area rather than where I am logging right now. Just a super nice, relaxing stroll. We knew it was gonna be chilly. I mean, it's February, but we thought it was going to be like 73, but then of course the weather changes and nope, it's going to be 69 degrees today. That's okay. We're still going to have a great time here at the beach. All right, so here we are. We're going to look around at Fort Clinch. And here's the man himself, General Duncan Lamont Clinch. It only cost two dollars and like fifty cents for each person to go into the fort to walk around. Um, I think there might be a different price for kids under five, but there's no senior discounts, no military discounts, just two fifty per person. Now we're inside this little tiny museum, so let's take a look around. There's a lot of uh, neat things that you can see in this very small museum. You can see some of the things that they used inside the fort. Examples are some like tools that they had. Um, they had some pictures of the fort outside, some information about the cannons that they used. And they also had a map of the fort. And here is the fort. So here we are in Florida. Fort Clinch, where we are right now. I'm gonna take a look around. All right. There's a drawbridge, guardhouse, prison, the parade, soldier barracks, bakery, blacksmith shop, gallery. All right, so cannons. All right. Here's the paper that they gave it to us when we were paying to come in. Diagram everything that we're going to see once we are inside. And some other things as well for safety. Do not climb on the canyons. Okay, so they have some events going on. Candlelight tours from June to August. All right, so there's some information. If you're interested in coming to Fort Clinch. Huh? All right, going on in. Statue over there. But we're gonna go over here instead. Okay. Imagine. You are stepping into the past. The year is 1864 and the Civil War is in progress. Ahead of you is a masonry fort under construction. Union soldiers are involved in the building of the fort. Ask them questions. There it is. Fort Clinch. Yeah, there's people over there, so I guess we can go up along the top. So it's not super high. The walls right here. I mean, I'm gonna stand up, up there next to it when we get up there. But like, 
It doesn't seem very tall. We have been up to St. Augustine. I haven't made a video of it, but I've been there. And those walls are very, very tall. So yeah, these in comparison don't seem quite as tall. So there's the ocean that way. And here's the fort. Yeah. Here's the drawbridge. Kids are walking across from right now. See the moat down below. Almost tripped. <laughs> oh yeah. There's the drawbridge. That's pretty neat. All right, going on through. And it's sloping down right now. Yeah, you can see the cannons up there. Oh yeah, there's someone talking over there. That's pretty cool. All right, going in. Barracks, we got triple bunk beds. Hooks on them so they can keep their clothes. Wait. How neat Wait. is that? How would we get up? There's, uh, there's not water. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so they have some firewood set up here, some strings <laughs> set across so they can dry their clothes. So we're going to way around. We're going to go into this next building. All right. Let's go inside first. It's like Harry Potter. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> what is this? Ooh. What's going down here? Oh, is this just going along the outside of the fort? Wow. Look at these little spaces. Look at those little. Little thin areas that they can be crouched up over here trying to get the enemy. Huh. That's pretty cool. And uh, this is probably where they put cannon. Wow. Going in. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so dark. What is this? Okay, I got the window. I think it's just a room. There's nothing in here. I don't know what this room is. Oh. oh my goodness, look at these little stairs. Pretty well preserved. Yeah. This is so neat. Window here. Oh, I think we're going all the way up to the top. Yeah, we are. Well, how do we go back down? There's lots of things. Oh, wow. Oh, you're fine. Oh, and look at this. They have like concrete, but there's certain grooves in it to make the water go down. Like, like a draining system. That's really neat. It's like cutters. And then there's the beach. There's people fishing down there. Not really swimming because it's still cold, but that's pretty neat. 
such a good view from the spot. We have a nice big table over here. They have cups. Oh, well, I got urn for butter to turn butter. No spitting in the kitchen. Sounds like a good rule. Got these pulley systems for lamps. <laughs> they have an oven, Owen. That's like an oven. For pizza. <laughs> for pizza, for whatever they're gonna make. Yeah. And then there's the fireplace. Yeah, that's really neat. That's where their fingers were <laughs> when they made the brick. Wow. That is neat. And then I saw over here, they put like carvings in the wall. So I thought this was really neat. A2335. Pretty nifty. All right, going over to the next room. Toilet. Anybody need to go? All right. Then you're just gonna have to hold it. All right, so this is where they have all their cannonballs. Oh, it's focusing on the railings and not, let me close up. There you go. Now you can see the cannonballs. Cool. Big ones, little ones, arsenal, right beside the bathroom. All right, so here's another room. We can actually go inside this one. So the other one had like, that looked like real cannonballs. These are big. These are really big. They're all together. <laughs> Government cannon powder number two over here. And we have another little toilet oh, down yeah, here. Toilet. Another potty for your convenience. All right, so you can't actually go into this room, but we can peek in the open window. And it's like another kitchen, so it has a cute little table in here. Chairs, their clothes are hung out. It looks like they're making candles over there by the fireplace. It's pretty neat. All right, so this one we can go in. Another giant table with oven and fireplace, rolling pin. All right, so they got like cabinets. Inside, all kinds of pots and pans and things that they may have used here. All right, and then just ooh, just room here. Okay, and then I believe to the left here is another little toilet. Yep. It's a toilet, so not sure where this is going to lead to, but it's all like rounded, you can tell. Okay, going up the stairs, and it's like, I can touch the ceiling, it echoes. So it's like not very tall in here. I can still walk through, but an echo. Okay, so it just leads out to this little edge place here where they can uh, look out at the ocean, see if anybody's coming. Look at this neat little water pump here. So you pump the water, you can put it in your bucket, or it just flows on down. That's neat. Hmm. All right, so there's another little kitchen here. But what I thought was really funny. These are real onions, like, that one's even rotten. Like, why would they put real onions in here? You can even smell it. So that's funny. <laughs> They're real onions. But apple butter, yum. Pickled relish. Hot pepper sauce. And mustard. All right, so we're going to go in this building next. It's pretty tall, just as tall as that one over there. And can't go upstairs. It's like an office with a chair and a desk. 
This is the room that I was just peeking inside. Days of the week, bath on Saturday. Oh my goodness, this room is so cute. I wish that we could go in here. It's like a little general store or something. Like a little counter and little table with um, checkers on it and some a deck of cards. So that's super cute. Big room here, table. Oh, yeah, you put candles on the chandelier. So you like bedrooms. Like how cute is that little tiny twin bed? I don't even think this is a twin. Like it's very small. And a desk. Super cute. Little chest there. And another bedroom. And you can see that they're... Beds are made out of hay. So that's what their cushion is. They're bed of hay. All right, so there's a jail chaining people up here with these. Oh, look at this one. That's like solitary. What's the password? Can't see what's in there. How neat is this? It's like a blacksmith room here. So we can't really go inside this one. I'm just peeking inside the window. All right, now let's go see what's over here in this one next door. Oh, wow. That is so neat. All the tools. Little apron over there. Over here is another little kitchen, and you can see the barrels full of flour and sugar getting ready for cooking. Yeah, I like this one. This one's very neat. So you can see um, over here, we, what does that even say? Weevil, free. We, what? Hard track? Hi everyone, Future Heather here. I had to look that up because it was just a little bit too strange. So when I looked it up, it said that weevils are a type of beetle and hard tack is a type of like cracker or hard biscuit that they made a long time ago. So weevil free hard tack means cracker or biscuits without beetles in them. So kind of sad they had to specify on that, but alrighty then. <laughs> but this little thing of flour in there and then the ovens in the back and then that nice little stove, pretty nifty little kitchen. All right, now I'm going to head on up to the top around the fort. We all went, already went on inside or peeked in the windows of most of the buildings down below. So now we're going up here and getting the great view of everything. Oh, wow. So the back of this building over here is two story. Looks like it would have been a magnificent porch, two story porch. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Wow. That is nice. I mean, of course, they're not letting anybody over there for safety, but that's really cool. And look at this drainage system so that the roof is slanted in, the water goes out. All right. So let's go walk around and see what we can see up here. These cannons are giant. Whoa. Oh, they're boarded up. <laughs> okay. So nothing can even fall down in there. That's good. And I just noticed over here, so with the cannons, they have the certain degrees that they can roll them along. And so I'm sure somebody's at the lookout. I'm gonna say like 40 degrees west. And they know exactly where to move these cannons. 
That's pretty neat. This is such a beautiful view. And we did drive through and they have campgrounds here too. So electric and um, water, but no sewer hookups. And it's right on the beach. So I'm not sure how much those campsites are, but it sounds pretty awesome. <laughs> right here by the beach and there's nobody here. So sounds great to me. <laughs> I mean, look at that. I mean, there really isn't very many people at all on the beach today. I mean, yes, it is a little bit chilly, but still, this is so nice and peaceful. We had a great time at Amelia Island. We went to Fort Clinch. We went to the beach. We went to the fort itself. It was really fun to walk around and see everything that was there and walk around the beach a little bit to look for shark teeth. We didn't find any, um, but we still had a great time and it was a little bit chilly and very windy. Um, then uh, this campground, didn't really show this campground, but it's a really neat campground here. And it had it is a KOA. Um, and so you can bring your tent or a camper here and it was really neat. It had a DJ playing at night. It had a little jumping pad for the kids to go play on. It had, uh, some swings, some little playground equipment. It had a pool with a slide. It was really fun. It even had a little tiny miniature golf course. <laughs> so we had a good time here. Um, they also had a pool table. We, we, we were able to play at last night. Um, one thing that was really awesome too, they had free s'mores. So they had a fire pit going and they had free s'mores. So we could just went inside and they gave us a giant bag of jetted puffed marshmallows, uh, three, uh, candy bars. So two Hershey's and one cookies and cream Hershey bar. And then they gave us a bunch of graham crackers so we can make our own s'mores there at the campground. We had to provide our own sticks, um, our own marshmallow sticks that we had. Uh, but that was really awesome that they provided those for free. It was included in a stay. Um, but we had a really great time here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Bye.